I'm proud to present half of Twice Upon a Time. Well, good evening. Okay, this story comes with a caveat. I'm just recuperating from that creeping crud that half the world has. So if I start coughing, I am not going to cough up a lung. Just be patient. Hey, spit the blood on us. You saw the lung on the black This is not a Nazi. Okay. All the first timers, let me hear you. Hello. All right. This seemed to be a particularly pertinent story for y'all tonight. Oh, and this is a story from Algeria. Juha got up one morning and decided he wanted to do something he'd never done before in his entire life. Problem was, he didn't know what that was going to be. He walked around his house for a little while, but it was same old furniture, same old wall, same old floor, same old ceiling. Eh, he was going to have to get out of the house if he was going to do something he'd never done before in his entire life. So he walked out the door and down the street. Same old street. Same old houses, same old neighbors. Figured if he was going to do something he'd never done before in his entire life, he was going to have to go on into town. So he went into the marketplace, walked up and down among all the vendors. Same old vendors, same old merchandise, same old people. If he was going to do something he'd never done before in his entire life, he was going to have to go out of town altogether. So he walked out of the city gates and into the countryside. In no time at all, he figured out it was the same old countryside. Same old dirt road beneath his feet, same old blue sky overhead, same city behind him, same mountains before him. He was getting really frustrated by this time. He really wanted to do something he'd never done before in his entire life. But what? Now it was about mid-morning when he saw three men walking toward him, and even at a great distance he could tell they were soldiers. They were dressed all in armor and leather, and they had a lot of weapons with them. But he was surprised to notice when they got closer that they were three old friends of his that he hadn't seen in a couple of years. He waved at him, went running toward him. They greeted him warmly. And then after all the greeting and hugging, he said, you know, I'm a little confused, friends. Last time I saw you, the three of you were merchants. But, well, look at you. You dress like soldiers. What's the story here? He said, oh, it's real easy to explain to you, huh? You see... We were merchants the last time you saw us, but we figured out real fast that you could make more money being soldiers of fortune. Why, kings pay us bags of gold to go fight their battles for them. Matter of fact, see that mountain over there? We're going over there right behind that mountain to fight a battle, and we're being paid a lot of money for this one. I don't think this one likes me. <laughs> well, now, this got the wheels in Juha's head turning. Wow, he thought, I've never been a soldier before. I've never fought in a battle before. Something I've never done before in my entire life. Friends, can I go with you? Can I be a soldier? Can I fight in the battle? Uh, hold on a minute, Jiha. And the three friends stood together and talked for a minute, and then they turned around and said, yeah, between the three of us, we think we can, you know, fit you out pretty good with protective stuff, and, well, we've got plenty of weapons to share. Come on with us. So by the time they got him dressed up in their extra armor and leather, he had everything but a helmet. One of them gave him a spear, one gave him a quiver full of arrows, and the other one gave him a bow. He was good to go. About noon, they got to the other side of that mountain, and sure enough, there was a great battle going on. Juha was so excited, he didn't even wait for his friends. He lifted up that spear in the air, and, ah! and he went running toward that battleground. And in that instant, an arrow went flying through the air, smacked him right between the eyes, and went in deep. Juha collapsed to the ground. Now, the three friends went over to see if he was still alive, but they didn't have much hope. But they were amazed to see that he was still breathing. So one of the friends took off running as quick as he could to find a doctor. He came back a few minutes later with the king's own personal physician. Dr. Ben over Juha's wound, examined it carefully, and then stood up and looked at the three friends and shook his head. Oh, that arrow's gone in deep. I'm really afraid that if I leave the arrow in his head, he's going to get an infection in his brain, and if that happens, he'll die. 
But then again, if I pull the arrow out, I run the risk of pulling some of his brains out with it. And, well, if that happens, he'll die. I don't know what to do. And to their amazement, Juha spoke up. Pull the arrow out. Doctor looked at him and says, uh, I don't think you heard me. If I pull that arrow out, I run the risk of pulling some of your brains out with it. And if that happens, you'll die. But then again, if I leave it in, you run the risk of getting an infection in your brain. And if that happens, you'll die. I don't know what to do. And Juha spoke up again. Pull the arrow out. <sighs> Look. I, I know you're an injured man, you don't understand the situation here, but I, I'm a doctor, and I know that arrow went in deep, and I know if I pull that arrow out, I could pull some of your brains out with it and kill you, and I know if I leave it in, you could get an infection and that could kill you. And I don't know what to do. And Juha spoke up again. Pull the arrow out. Now by this time, the doctor had just about enough. Do you not understand? You are a soldier. You don't know a damn thing about medicine. But me, I am a doctor. I have studied many long, hard years. I am not only a good doctor, I am the best doctor because I am the king's personal physician. I don't know what I should do. Why do you know that's what I should do? And Juha spoke up one more time and said, because if there were any brains in there to begin with, I wouldn't have come here. Yeah.